This is Twit. You noticed when you came over to my house uh, to, to house, do the OLED, house. my previous house, that I didn't have them hooked up either. It's the same problem. That's right. I can't figure out. How, and by the way, surrounds are supposed to be like where your ears are, right? Left, not behind you. But well, like, more or less to the side, slightly behind you and above you. So that means a wire <laughs> going from in front of me to up and to well. Now, as I recall, I I have to look this up, but I think Aperion actually makes a wireless makes a wireless system that works pretty good. All right, well maybe I have to uh, trade those. So you things. have to look into that because uh, that is a, a big problem: uh, running wires back to your surround speakers um, or to your subwoofer. Um, uh, Vizio sound bars actually some of them come with. Uh, uh, <laughs> surround speakers and a subwoofer. Uh, the subwoofer is wireless, and you place it in the back of the room, and then the sub the surround speakers attach to it with wires. But you don't have to run wires from the front to the back of the room. So that's one solution. The problem, of course, with wi with wireless, uh, particularly like five gigahertz uh, or two point four gigahertz. Uh, is that there's lots of other stuff operating right. in that frequency range. Oh, and so Lord, not only do you get latency, but you also get interference and dropouts. And things just don't sound as good, generally speaking. The same is true with streaming media from the Internet by wi or from, say, a computer in your home over your LAN, over your local area network, streaming at Wi-Fi or using a hardwire Ethernet connection. And I always recommend an Ethernet connection over Wi-Fi because of, again, the latency issue and the interference issue. Generally speaking, Wi-Fi just doesn't stream media, particularly when we're talking video. Audio is not so bad. You can, you can actually kind of get away with it. And certainly Sonos has gotten away with it beautifully, but they had to build their own network. Yeah, they do magic. It's, That's why. It's this mesh network yeah. that, they, that yeah. they built specifically and dedicated to the Sonos system. Um, which lets it work much better than your typical average thing. But I know Aperion does have an, a wireless they do. option. I'm looking wireless at it. Wireless system. Yeah. yeah. So I would look into that, uh, particularly since you have the Aperion speakers. Yeah. Yeah, there's really yeah. no good solution on this one. That's why people use sound bars to try to simulate surround sound and all yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Or you, or you make a home theater uh, and you don't let your wife in. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention. There's wires. I know. But it yeah, sounds right. great. Well, you know, I've been doing a bunch of, um, uh, I've been profiling home theaters that our members on AVS Forum have built. We do. We now have a feature called Home Theater oh, of the Month. what a good month. idea. And I'm amazed at these people, these guys mostly, who build their own home theaters. And they look like fully professional installations. Oh, yeah. But they do it themselves oh, with yeah. their own two hands. They build all the wiring and they build all the woodwork and all the acoustic treatments and everything, and they hide all the wires. Yeah. And it looks gorgeous. Yeah. So, you know, you put a little effort into it. You, you run the wires in a, you know, well, not if you, a lot. If, you're willing, to put, if you're willing to open up the walls, it's, it's a snap. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of these guys actually built. The last one I did was uh, actually in Santa Cruz, California, my one of my favorite places in the universe. And he actually had to excavate out from under his house to build his <laughs> okay, that's, cave. Okay, that's going too far. That's literally <laughs> a cave. It's literally yeah. a cave. Literally, literally a cave.